you through the Dragon Flag, and this is an absolute Bruce Lee classic for anybody who wants the next level core game. So, there's a number of different progressions on this one, but we'll show you the first full movement at the beginning. So, Jacko's going to pike himself up, he's anchoring himself down onto the rig, it could be a bench or something stable which you can pull against. His job is then to push his toes and his hips up high and he's going to lower himself down, really pushing and trying to keep that nice, strong, straight dish position. Think about a really kind of advanced hollow body hold type shape. He drives himself down as low as he can and then he's going to try and pull himself back up. The real thing from that is to really get connection from these hips and drive them upwards as opposed to allow them to sag and sit into like a V-shaped position. So the full dragon flag should look really strong, elegant type movement. It's a difficult position, so the number of progressions that you can use, and we'll build you up from the basic level first. So you can begin with a tuck dragon flag, and Jacko's all he's going to do is bring his knees and his feet in, drive those hips up like you can see, and then just lowers himself down. The further out the knees go, the more difficult it gets, um, and you can start to play around within that. If you find that that's working pretty well, we can move to a single leg progression. And just on all of these, there's a number of different things you can use, but one of them could be a partial range of movement repetition. So the closer to the floor you get, the longer the lever at length, and therefore the more difficult it is. So as you're building strength, you can just shorten that, that movement range down a little bit, play in the range where you feel comfortable, and over time you're gonna feel that increase. The single leg just removes a little bit of the lever length, the weight that we've got down at this end of the movement, and therefore makes it a little bit easier and a progression onwards. Now, last two little progressions for you. Those are your kind of major steps towards a full dragon flag and just build strength through those cumulatively, cumulatively over a period of time, and you're gonna find yourself starting to get ready for that, for that full position. There's another one you can also use with, with all the progressions, it's just to work the eccentric. The hardest bit of the dragon flag is actually pulling yourself out of that bottom position. So Jacko's gonna go full dragon flag. He lowers himself down towards the floor, nice and controlled as slow as he can, say five or six seconds in that. And then when he gets to the lowest point, he might stick in a little hold and then he'll let himself just go to the ground. He's then gonna pike his feet back up, pull himself in a reverse crunch position back up and it enables him to work through full range of movement with that eccentric strength development. And that's gonna to help to build up the total capacity for his full dragon flag. Now the last one that we're going to show you is just a band assisted dragon flag and again you can use it on each of the different progressions but Jacko grabs the band he's going to tie it off on the rig about waist height and then all that's going to do is serve to, as a little bit of a stirrup for him to put his feet in and then he's going to be able to just use the assistance of the band to help him to go through the various different range of movements and progressions that he wants to play in so he sets himself up again feet in the band he'll drive himself up stretches out and he's gonna go full dragon flag in this position. And then that band is gonna help him at the hardest point of the movement, which is right here, the band is on full stretch. And that's just gonna get him out of that bottom position and help him to start to train it. With a dragon flag, you can use a number of different progressions. The key really for this one for us is working through the greatest range of movement that you can with a progression which you can control. But do add these little tools in as a way to get extra volume in your training program and make it a little bit more specific towards really getting towards that full dragon flag movement. Lots to think about in that one, but it's a great little movement and it does wonders for your front lever training and keeping this midsection super strong.